Karen is amazing. She works so hard at the festivals, her leadership, the bid, um, Hoda, I could go on. Um, she, I, I've never seen somebody who has worked so hard to really improve the old town Arvada area. It's unbelievable what Karen can do. She sets her mind to something and she goes for it and she doesn't let anything get in her way. She um, listens to people, she listens to what's needed, and she just gets the job done. And she does it with professionalism, with grace, with consideration, integrity. I think a lot of people don't realize all that she has done through, through HODA, through getting the bid started, uh, running festivals that have raised money for, uh, for charities, for kids. Um, of course, running Paws in Play, just her, just her business until she sold it. She gets stuff done. She has embraced the community and she has, um, sh her professionalism just shines through in everything that she's done. Uh, she's taken the events to another level. Passion for what you uh, believe in and what you uh, really want to do, it really helps. And she has that. She has a lot of passion for everything. I think events are really critical to showing the culture of a community. I think they can highlight different local artists, local musicians, local vendors and stores that you wouldn't normally think to go visit. And creating that element of community is a big part, especially when it's a specific event to the community, like the St. Patrick's Day Parade, like Harvest Fest, those are really organic to Arvada. And I think Karen's had a big influence in keeping them here in Arvada and helping them grow. A few things you probably don't know about Karen. Um, so she started, she, she and several others created the parking committee um, with the city. Um, then after it got going, she actually got the very first parking ticket and even paid it. So we, we learned how the parking was going to work. Um, Festival of Scarecrows, she got that going. Um, it kind of kind of got quiet for a while and then she brought it back to life. Chocolate Affair, another one where all the hearts that are put up by the city, um, she works with a small bunch of people decorating every one of them and puts them up there. So she's trying to keep some of those, those cherished uh, festivals in Old Town, Arvada. She brings excitement. She brings um, hope. She brings this feeling of we can do this. We can do this together. Karen is, is inspirational to many. I, I think they see the, the effort and the time she puts in and, and it kind of rubs off on you. You want to do some of that too and, and be a part of, of what she's working so hard. She just, she doesn't give up. She just doesn't give up. I am just so happy and pleased that Karen received this award and I can tell you the day that I heard about it, I was like walking on air and halfway through the day I thought, why do I feel so happy? And it's because Karen got this award and it was finally recognized how much work she's done.